Hi all. Today I am going to discuss a very simple example of physics in everyday life. Myself, Mohamed Ashfaz, Astronomy Professor in Physics, Government Brindan College. So here you can see two images of my daughter running in two different ways. Is it? Okay, so in one picture uh, she is running with, uh, with folding her hands. In another picture she is uh, just uh, kept the hands straight. So which of this picture or which of this posture would be more comfortable while running? The physics has answer for it. Before going to the further discussion, the first thing you have to remember is for stable running and as well as for walking, both your legs and hands must move synchronously. So that is the time of oscillation of your legs and hands must be same. So with this point in, in your mind, I will be start discussing the physics of oscillations. So what is an oscillation? So oscillation is one of the simplest phenomena in physics. It is just the to and from motion of an object. Okay. So we can discuss with an example. So one simple example is a spring mass system. So consider this system. So a mass attached to spring which is um, hanged on a roof. Okay. Now if you displace the mass slightly maybe in the downward direction or if you push it in the upward direction then this mass will not remain there. It will start oscillating about the equilibrium position. Now the time required to one complete oscillation that is suppose if you if the spring is starting from here then what is the time required to come back to the same position and that is what is called the time period of the oscillation okay now the time period obviously will depending upon the mass of the system and the spring constant of the spring in the case of spring mass system now uh, this example is not very relevant to us so the example relevant to us is a simple pendulum so simple pendulum so consider uh, a bob attached to a string and it is again uh, hanged on a roof okay so if you uh, displace this uh, bob to a certain angle maybe in the angle theta then what would happen is uh, this simple pendulum will start oscillating about its equilibrium position okay so what would be the, uh, the equilibrium position if you if you not done anything if you if you are not displacing it the the original orientation of the simple pendulum would be like this Okay, now if you displace it, maybe if you displace it towards right, this would be the new position. But anyhow, uh, this mass cannot stay here. If you release it, then what would happen? This mass will start oscillating. It will move towards left, then come back to right, then we again move towards left, then come back to right, like the swing normal string. Okay, now what is the time required to come back to its original position? What That is what is called the time period. And the time period is given by 2 pi square root of L by G. And G is the acceleration due to gravity which is a constant 9.8 meter per second square. So therefore time period would depending upon the length of this pendulum. Okay, this L is called the length of the pendulum. So if the shorter is the length, then the smaller will be the time period, faster will be the movement. Okay, so if you reduce L, the faster would be the movement. If you increase L, the slower will be the movement. Now you can answer which posture would be comfortable for running. So for faster movement, what you have to do, we have to reduce the time period of oscillation. Okay, you can consider your legs and hands are just like simple pendulum. If you reduce the length of the, uh, the legs and hands, then uh, you can oscillate it faster. You can run faster. So the more comfortable position or more comfortable posture while you are running would be like folding your hands. Thank you everyone for watching this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll come back with some new interesting topics of uh, physics in everyday life later. Thank you. Bye-bye.